Horn Hangout audience here in Brisbane. Thank you at the Queensland Conserva Conservatory, Griffith University, that's where we are today. Hi to all of you at home, uh, wherever you are in the world, writing in. Um, tell us where you're watching from. We are down under. We are in Brisbane. To, sorry, is, that, is that really pathetic? I should have, should have said good day because everyone, whenever a foreigner says that, all the Australians think it's really funny and pathetic. But uh, good day. Um, we're yeah. You see, I told you. Okay, I won't say it again. Welcome. We're so happy to have you all here. It's a special Horn Masterclass Hangout. Um, yeah, we're here. We have some great students playing for you today. We have our mascots. This is this is uh, one we prepared earlier. We called him Peter because. <laughs> over, over here, there's a distinct, I don't know, has he got hair? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I'm cute. He's cute. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Peter Love, Associate Hello. Principal of the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> and Hi, thank Pete. you. Hi, Pete. Pete, meet Pete. Right, we'll put him here. Okay. Thank you for organising all this today. Well, it's really, I mean, yesterday we had the most fantastic mm. day, and I think probably most people watching have um, seen the flash mob. Yep. Who was, you were all playing the flash mob yesterday, yes. We, we've had about 16,000 views of that video online mm. already in less than 24 hours. So, yeah, go horn nerds of the yeah, world. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Very good. It's great. <laughs> Loved it. So, thank you for organising that. Okay. Tell us where we are. And what are we going to what are we going to be hearing today? Well, we're in Brisbane. <laughs> we're in Brisbane. Bris Vegas, uh, <laughs> on the east coast of Australia. It's Queensland Conservatorium Griffith University, and um, I teach horn here along with my colleagues Esalt Clark and Malcolm Stewart. And Esalt we've got is here. somewhere there, here. She, there is. she is. Hello, Esalt. Yeah. 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 And we're, we're going to hear some of our first years play a quartet from the Hindemith Quartet. Going to hear Jumana and Jess play some solo stuff, and Chinsia is going to play some excerpts for you. Yeah, who else? Who have we got watching from where? Well, we've got. Well, speaking of the t-shirts, Richard from T Toronto is wearing his one-year-old Horn Hangouts t-shirt. Richard, so we like that. Thank send us you. Send a picture, Richard. That'll be great. That would be good. Um, an alumni from here, Renee, is watching from Dublin. Hi, Ren. Ah, oh, nice. She's great. Um, Jared from South Carolina. Uh, Wendy from Iowa, 1 a.m. in the morning, yeah, I think, or after 1 a.m. Wow. in the morning. Uh, Blake from Perth. We've got people all over the world at the Fantastic. moment. Fantastic. So let's get started. First of all, we have Jess, who's waiting, and, and Mitchell, our accompanist. And thank you. Welcome. <laughs> To this one bit that um, that we can do, we have to show everything. We have to show music, sound, rhythm, intonation, um, everything, trills, all the rest of it. So this is a really important thing to play on and I, uh, pl uh, to work on. And I'm so glad you picked this because for me, a horn player isn't a horn player if they can't play Mozart. Because we've got they can, you can be a great horn player, but if you can't play Mozart, you need you need to be able to play Mozart, and you can. You've got a lovely sound, and I heard you yesterday in the horn ensemble. You were socking it out. So I know you have about fifty liters more air than you just used just now. <laughs> did you feel that? Is that how you felt? Yeah, did you a bit. did you feel it sort of all sort of going? Mm. Yeah. So I say this all the time. Everyone who's watching, they probably all heard this a million times before on the horn hangout uh, master classes. But put your shoulder blades back. And it's just a, try it, just try it, just a little bit like that. And, and you'll stand differently. You guys try it. Yeah. Oh, you should see him sitting up. You try it at home, please. Shoulder blades back. You can feel it opens the entire, the entire breathing apparatus. And it, it's a little, just a little thing you can trick your body with. When you come on stage, even if you're feeling like absolute hell, <laughs> um, you can say, okay, open, open up the shoulders and breathe. And here I am. And now I'm going to start. <laughs> You could play that and people would think, oh, okay, we'll might take her to the second round. But that's what you want to do first time round. Yeah? yeah. That's it, that's that's the, the bane of our lives is getting it right first time, you know? Thank you, Mitchell. 
We've got so some what comments. have we got? Who have we got watching? Um, Johan from Cairo. Cairo, fantastic. Yes. Hi, um, Johan. So sounds great, Jess. So well done, Jess. Um, um, oh, Cairo. From Tas- Yo- Aaron Johan from- and Jess. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Aaron from Tasmania. And in fact, Aaron had a question as well. And she yes. wanted to know if you had any tips on high notes. <laughs> press like crazy. I no, 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 I didn't press. say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Um, well, I... Um, high notes, you've got to practice them. What can I do? What can I say? You know, mm. I'm, I play low mm. horn in the orchestra, mm. but it's no use me saying, oh, sorry, Stefan, I, I can't play the high notes because I'm a low horn player. But when you're playing second horn, you'd have to play. Yeah, but in fourth well, horn, come on, you've got to play all the yeah, you know, Don yeah. Juan and everything. You know, there's yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no rest yeah. for the wicked there. So you have to devote, it doesn't matter how you're specializing or if you're specializing, mm. you have to devote every day mm. time to what you can't do. Yep. There's no point just yep. playing what you can do. Um, you have to practice what you can't do as yeah, well. Yeah. And my weakness is maybe the, the strong, the strength in the high register, mm. so I have to mm. practice it. Mm. Yep, it's practice, a, practice, it's practice. A pain. Okay. Um, Jermaine, everybody. I'm going to play a few notes. Yeah. <laughs> So Jamal is just going to get ready. I just want to say also thank you for yesterday. You were so fantastic at organizing the Horn Day and, and, and making these. Did you make the cupcakes? Who made those cupcakes? Just did. Just, just did. Just made the cupcakes. Just your cupcakes have had about 900 likes on Instagram. <laughs> said yesterday why do we play the horn and what did we agree on the sound. the sound that's why we all play is that why you all play the horn that's why we play the horn we love the sound of the horn and we're better than on some romantic may night with Josef Anton Meyer I'm sure he was a real real goer when you spend a, a may night walking through the, the the trees with him beautiful so I would like you to go the beginning beginning was absolutely gorgeous beautiful sound beautiful sound in the middle register um, really, really beautiful. But the minute it started getting a bit louder, we need to pump you up a little bit, okay? okay? And horn playing is hard work, you know? It should, it should be a little bit like a swan. A swan glides through the water and underneath it's going like this because it has to. It's got to do the work somewhere, but no, you shouldn't hear it. So let the air do your work, yeah? Let the sound glide like a swan, but do, let your air do the work, okay? okay? Now, once on your own, exactly like that. you breathe in more air because you're using it. It's not just about the breathing in, it's about breathing it all out. If you don't use everything you have, we're just topping up, you know, you know that feeling, you top up, and then you top up a bit more, and then, and then at some point you're here and you're going, eh. Yeah? So you, you know the feeling, don't you? So, so you're getting rid of it. So you're taking it in and getting rid of it. It's more fun, don't you think? Or do you feel like a little bit unladylike? It's, yeah, exactly. I heard you play yesterday as well. You can really, I would like you to play it once more full force as far as you can go, okay, to there. The whole thing. Cynthia, how are you? Nice to see you again. You've already been on a live, on a live horn yeah, hangout I masterclass. Watching, yeah. Yep, I remember it in Melbourne. Yeah. All those years. It was actually the first one I think we did. Yeah, maybe 2012. Gosh, yeah. Tim, we've been going for so, we've been doing horn hangouts for so long. <laughs> Gosh. So I'm happy that you're playing today, and I see two things I know and love. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next. <laughs> that was really good. You might think, why, if Sarah was making all that noise, how could she tell that she played really well? I could tell she played really well because I could do whatever I wanted and it still sounded like one horn. You were listening to what I was doing, you were adjusting to the intonation, you were playing a similar uh, 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 dynamic. Well done! So what is your problem? Pardon? When we breathe, we but that's okay. If you're if you're playing in an audition, you can breathe. You can do what you want. If you're playing in a section, you've got to see whether the, the poor first horn will be suffering array on this because first horns don't usually like this. Although, the best first horn players have fantastic low registers and work very hard at it. That's great. <laughs> I don't want to just hear the first <laughs> movement. It's it's really beautiful. What do you want me to say about that? I loved it. Fantastic. Well done. Do you play a lot together? Yeah. yeah? yeah. So yeah, well you can you can tell because you're all you're all dressed up. Um, I, I really enjoyed that. I want to hear the whole of the next time I come I want to hear the whole of the even the da 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 you know the you know the bit I mean. Um, so uh, this is also why uh, what a horn is all about. It's the sound, the hindemith. It's sounding great, this horn. I love it. I'm glad we chose that one. <laughs> um, so the only thing I can really say about this, you breathe together, you're well in tune. You could lead a little bit more when you're, when you're upstairs, like just now. You know where I mean. Um, yeah. you just at the end bit. That, that, just so that you match, match the sound a little bit more. Um, and also, it, it is, it's very slowly, but it mustn't sort of loop. Whatever tempo you start, you want to keep. It does, can get a little bit da, 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 da. It needs to have a, a movement in, even though it's sehr langsam. Yeah? The other thing you could do a tiny bit more for me, those little accents. They're not pang, they're not bang accents. They're just, well. Okay, it's almost time for the pub. Um, <laughs> so, once more, but you see what I mean? I'm just trying to really make you listen to him. Bum, bum, bum. That's the secret of a really good horn quartet, to know when you're important and to know when you're not. Yeah, and to get out of the way and to listen and to, to react. Once more. Aussie Horn Medley, the first a global horn ensemble, everyone all around the world. I can't wait to see what, what this is going to turn into. So we'll say goodbye from down under. Play away. Enjoy the music. <laughs>